Hi everyone, and welcome to another Mighty Ginkgo Tutorials. My name is Zero, and I'll be your instructor for this lesson. Uh, so, what can I say in this intro? <laughs> that hasn't already been said. Alright, so, we're going to be working on, I guess you could say, Hell is freeze Frozen Over. Man, that, that's a good way to start it. Hell has frozen over. Zero, the tenth, is working on a male body. As we all know, I'm an established clothes lesbian. I only work on female bodies and the female form and a female shape. But after countless begging and somebody mass emailing me the dev kit going, don't you want to do it? Don't you want to do it? Don't you want to do it? I finally caved and decided to make a tutorial on how to make clothes for the signature Gianni body. Now, it is a bento body. And because it is bento, um, the creator listed that you need Avastar 2.0. Um, seven no, was 2.0 um rc7 which i was happy they used because that's the only version of avastar i've ever been able avastar 2 that i've ever been able to uh, get to work but because it's in a t pose um and doesn't require any kind of special pose binding we can actually use the older versions of avastar and the older version of blender um to make this you know clothes thing work so i can do a class on it using our old tools that we have here so you don't have to run out and you know search around for avastar 2.7 uh, i think you want to call it 2.7 but it's avastar 2 rc7 so you don't have to really search for that you can just use uh, the old version of avastar that you've been using so far in these beginner tutorials now this class is just going to be our run of the mill um clothes making class where i'll show you how to make your t-shirt and your pants how to rig it how to texture it um, and then how to import it into Second Life. So if you've already seen our previous stuff like the Matreya video and the Back to Basics stuff, you already know this. Just download the dev kit and follow along. You really don't need anything special. Um, there is one thing I have to say about the bento is that because it's bento and because we're going to be using on the bento skeleton, you will need that remove um, unused vertex script to remove the excess vertex groups that will cause you to have the failing um, error uh, when you go to upload it into Second Life. Because sometimes you get that uh, this has 110 uh, over 110 vertex groups or 110 bone error, and um, that can be fixed by running that script and removing the unused vertex group. It's just a, a common little bug that happens with Bento rigging. So, with all of that said, I'm just going to give you a quick list of everything that you'll need to make this tutorial go. I'm going to be using Blender 2.72, um, and I suggest if you are new to uh, making clothes and weight painting and rigging, you use 2.72 as well because it has a very easy and um, beginner-friendly weight transfer that I, I always use for everything, so I suggest you follow along. It is not in... Um, the later versions, in fact, it's a little more complicated to transfer weights in the later versions than it is um, in 2.72. That's why I recommend it. So, you'll need Blender 2.72, a copy of Avastar, I think I'm using 1.71, uh, Sparkles for good measure, um, the unused Vertex script, that's going to be in the description as well. Uh, to make clothes, we're going to use Marvelous Designers. I'm going to be using Marvelous Designer 2. You can use a, older, a newer version of it if you want to, but I suggest using 2 because 2 is awesome. And um, it's not so intense on your computer as the newer versions are. So if you've got a computer that, you know, catches on fire easily, you may want to try 2 before you jump all the way up to, you know, 7 or whatever. 11. Let's just say 11 because by the time um, this video comes out, they're going to release like several other Marvel designers. So, <laughs> um, that, that's that. And I'm pretty sure there's something else. Um, I also have Photoshop for the 3d painting and texturing on here. I'm using Photoshop CS5 extended. It's old, but it's good. So, um, you can pick that up too. Everything that I use will be in the description like always. So make sure you go into the description and download everything. Uh, the materials and then follow along with the video and let's um, make clothes together so once you download all of that just go on to the, the next video and then we can actually start making our clothes 